Hi, I'm Mike. I'm going to give you a little training on how to set up your stations at your health fairs. Out of your A box, you're going to pull all your supplies out and lay them on the table. You'll need a chucks. You'll need your uh, blood draw kit that you'll be able to share with two people. If we have the room and the table size, we can actually have two chucks on this table and share one kit with two phlebotomists to draw two separate participants at a time. In the kit, you'll open it up, you'll have um, your needles, your alcohol, your tourniquets, your gauze, and tape. And you'll have all this uh, to set out for each of the tables. In a separate package, you'll have your SSTs, and your purples. You'll also have your vacuum uh, hubs and you'll have to set that up in your box in addition to what was set in this box. I like to set them out so that I can reach out and touch everything in a box, share between people. This box is not meant to last the entire fair. The lab supervisor should be going by, checking on supplies, and refilling supplies as they need. In addition to setting up uh, your table, you're allowed one sharps container per uh, phlebotomist. We do not share the sharps containers. I keep the gloves separate so that we make sure everybody has uh, enough gloves. We can take a pinch out of a box most of the boxes of uh, A boxes will only have mediums and smalls in them. So we have to make sure we have a couple of boxes of large. And if we have multiple uh, people that need large, take a pinch out of the box and lay them on the table. And then that person can share between uh, another person at the site. You also need to have your uh, blood tube box. This way everything's ready to go, so when you have uh, your participant ready, you can bring them over to the table. And I personally like to set up flags uh, for my phlebotomist to do, that they can reach up and a yellow is telling the traffic control that they can send somebody over to me. And if they have a red or an orange, something uh, is amiss. I need a question answered or I need skilled support uh, to help me with a participant. In addition to that, I put a cup on the table and put the online registration uh, stickers in uh, a cup because this was the number one thing people would drop on the way to see the phlebotomist and then they wouldn't have stickers. So if they're on the table then we can uh, hand the stickers out. Uh, all the information is on those stickers will be attached to the participants form. And that's it for setting up um, the tables. Other than I personally collect all of the butterflies because there's only about four per uh, phlebotomist. And if we leave these out on the table, we will lose all our butterflies in the first hour. And then all the people that really need butterflies will be the last ones coming in the fair. So these are valuable, they're limited supply, uh, put them aside, my recommendations. In addition to the setup that I did not mention before, we need a trash bag. A trash can bag can be shared between um, two phlebotomists at the table. The only thing that's going in the trash bag is actual trash, minute amounts of blood, anything that is concentrated blood, like a blood tube that had blood in it but it wasn't full, means to go in the sharps container. Oh. And the best thing to do is have these fares set up the night before so that as you're going through the supplies, if you find out that you're short something, you can make a phone call to that number that's in our lab supervisor manual. Let the uh, office know that you need specific supplies for what site and they can get them out to you the next day. That's how you have your table set up.